So today I'm going to show you how to bend 3D text in a circle to create a rotating text. So let's jump in the computer and let me show you how you can do it. So here we are inside of DaVinci Resolve and as you can see I already have here a 3D text that is bended and if I play it it's rotating and that's what we're going to do today. So let's create a new fusion composition. Let's come here, new fusion composition and call it 3D. Let's open the 3D. And here we are inside of Fusion. We only have our media out. So since we're going to work in 3D, we're going to add a render 3D. Let's connect it to here. Let's come here in to the inspector, enable lighting, shadows and I'm going to change to hardware render since I have a good graphical card. If you don't have, stick with the software render. Now let's add here a 3D merge. Let's connect it to here and to connect it to this 3D merge. I'm going to put a camera and I'm going to put here a spotlight. Connect it here and let's put the 3D merge in the viewer one, pressing one. And I'm going to rotate it like this and I'm going to put the spotlight back and the camera also back and I'm going to add here the 3D text and let's connect the 3D text let's type DaVinci Resolve and as you can see the, it's too big let me change first the font the type and I'm going to change it something smaller and I'm going, I'm going to put the camera back and I'm going to come here to the spotlight and open the con angle. Now let's, with the text selected, come here to the extrusion and increase the extrusion depth and you can adjust all the other settings but for now it's only this. So as you can see it's straight and we don't have here any option to bend our text. If we come here to the transform, you can rotate it like this and do everything, but we cannot create a, a torus or a circle with the text. So to create that, let's select here the, the text 3D. Let's press shift space to open the select tool and let's look for bender. And here we have the bender and add it over here. And with the bender selector here in the inspector, you can see that we have several bend types, the amount, the axis that we're going to bend, the angle, the center and the range and group. So if the group is not selected, you want to bend every single letter. So every single object will be bent and with the amount. So we can do something like this. You can see that in the Y and you can bend the text the way you want and we have the taper it will taper as you can see we have the twist it will twist the text and the shear it will do all of that but i'm gonna use the bend and i'm gonna here come and group axis and i'm gonna rotate it in the x rotate it like this Let's look something like this and it's not the way we want. If you want to rotate it like this, it's easy, but I, I want to rotate with the letters facing forward and showing outside of the ring and not up. So we come here to the angle and we're going to rotate it 90 degrees. And as you can see, immediately it creates the effect that we want. Now let's move this here. With the bender selected you don't have the option to rotate it so we have to add a, a transform so shift space and type transform 3d add it over here and if i rotate it now in the y axis you can see that it's rotating in this pivot point and i don't want that so i'm going to come here to the pivot and i'm gonna let me zoom this a little bit and I want to put this like from the top and more or less like this. And I'm going to come here and I'm going to change the Z axis like this. So 
something like this. Let's see how it is, if it's in the center. I think it's more or less in the center, probably a little bit. So something like this. And if I rotate it now, okay, it's almost center. So it's okay. Now let's come to the text and the letters are too close. Come here to the text and come to the tracking and give a little bit more for the letters to separate. And now we can come here to the transform and add the rotation. So come to the, the Y rotation in the first frame and I'm going to rotate it until I see Da Vinci, something like this. Okay. And add a keyframe and then go to the last one and I'm going to rotate it like this and give it resolve something like this. Okay. And it's done. If I play it now, you will see that it's rotating. As you can see, it's not centered correctly. Let me adjust this just a little bit. Okay, it's better. It's almost perfect. <laughs> so now let's add some texture, some color to this. So if you want to add simple color, come here and change it. But you can change this to, to add some texture to this. And to do that, it's very easy with the text 3D selected, shift space and look for replace material 3D, add it over here. And you can come here to the, the tools, templates, fusion, and open it and look for shaders. And inside we have a lot of options. Let's choose, for example, the Chrome and let's connect the Chrome over here. And immediately it gives this Chrome look, but you can also change it to something like a reddish Chrome and something like this. Okay, and now it's done. Now we can just adjust the, the camera angle. Let's go to the transform. Let me rotate this and resize it a little bit. Let me put this like this and come here and adjust it like this. And we can come to the transform also and we can scale it a little bit so it will be bigger to fill more the screen and let's put it like this and if you go to the edit page let's remove this one let's add the new one that we created and if we play it here we have the da vinci resolve rotating so we bend the text and we rotate it so i hope this information was helpful and i hope you learned something today and if yes don't forget hit that like button that helps a lot subscribe if you're not subscribed yet and hit that notification bell to be notified next time i'll launch a video until then Bye.